RSMB adds motion blur to your footage such as clips which have been time remapped. As a result, they look smoother. You may want to use this as unlike After Effects, Premiere does not have a built-in motion blur feature. Head over to your project tab and create an adjustment layer and place it on top of your clip. Search for RSMB and add on RSMB Pro onto the adjustment layer. Let's go over these settings. So the blur amount is simply how much motion blur there is. A higher value means more motion blur. So if I set it to two, you can see there is more motion blur. You can also set keyframes. So let's say I want more motion blur for this specific frame at the start. I can keyframe it and set the amount to two, head one frame ahead, and then reset it back to 0.5. Now there is more motion blur on the first frame compared to the others. Track frame. So this can be useful if you don't see motion blur on a specific frame. So for example, this one here, at the moment I can see motion blur, but for some reason it doesn't always work. So it might look like this. Even though there is an adjustment layer on top with RSMB applied, it still might not work. And that's because you need to keyframe the track frame. By using keyframes, you can tell RSMB which frame it needs to use in order to apply the right amount of motion blur. So what I'm going to do is head one frame back and keyframe the track frame, leaving it at auto. Then I'm going to head one frame ahead and set it from auto to previous. So what this is going to do is use the previous frame to determine whether or not it needs to apply motion blur depending on the movement. Track enhance. If you switch this from none to delinearize, it can make minor differences. Take a look at this part here. So before and after it looks like this it may help fix up any distortion and warps and just like track frame you can keyframe it so if you want to apply delinearize to a specific frame rather than the entire clip track rgb plus a this is useful if you are using a png so images with a transparent background if you are using them then give it a check and finally if you just click on this arrow next to gpu settings what you can do is switch the use gpu from off to on and this may or may not help reduce any lag as RSMB is quite a heavy effect and in addition to this you can uncheck the use less GPU memory like so. Hopefully that should speed things up. To finish it off I'm just going to hold alt on my keyboard and click and drag it to my other clip. There is way too much motion blur at the start so I'm going to cut it down to about one. So yeah that's how you use RSMB. This is the result. Thank you to my members as always for their monthly support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.